Hello guys, this is Amos Soul Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play Jitalesre Demo. Okay, so very beautiful tune, give you a preview before we start learning it, it goes like this. Melody and block chords first, here we go. So break up into a few parts, it's easy to learn. So first part, right hand starts on the B, middle C, C, R, chord, but octave C, is the B just below that, okay? So we have B, A, G, E, D, B, E, D, B, D, that's it for the first part. Let's learn it again, because B, A, G, E, D, up to B, E, D, B, D, that's it for the right hand, left hand, we just have G major, which is G, B, D, we have uh, two of these G major chords, okay? So with these two G major chords in mind, the two hands together goes like this, okay? All right, so actually make a four, okay? So one, two, three, four, okay? So four G major chords, one, two, three, four. With that in mind, just go skidda, 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 like that. There you go, let's learn it again. Skidda, skidda, skidda. Skidda, like that. Okay, so yeah. Make sure to learn the melody and block chord version first because that's the foundation and afterwards an easy add those improvisation that I did in the preview. Okay, but anyway, moving on to the second part. Right hand continues, just B, and then B, E, B, like that. So very simple second part, just a few notes. So B, hold that for a long while, and then another B, E, B. That's it. Left hand, we have uh, four G majors again, so one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. With that in mind, two hands together goes like this. It goes, two, three, together, two, three, here, two, three, together. Okay, as you notice, we're counting in threes. Remember, in this uh, song, it's in triple time, so always counting in threes. Or else your improvisation will, will sound wrong if you count in fours. So always one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. Okay, so moving on to the third part. The third part right hand continues, goes uh, D, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, B, B, E, B, like that. Let's learn it again, so it goes D, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, B, B, E, B. Okay, left hand for this third part, we have a few more chords this time, so B minor, B, D, F sharp, second chord A major, A, C sharp, E, and third chord G major, G, B, D and then fourth chord G major again. With those four chords in mind, so B minor, A major, and two G major chords, two hands together goes like this, so it goes together, and then together, together, okay, and then together, like that. Let's learn it again, together, 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 together. All right, you can also do it like this, together, Skidda, skidda, that, yeah, it's kind of what it sounds like in the original as well, where it just plays duh, 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 like that, but anyways, moving on to, actually before we do that, uh, actually no, nah, we'll do the fourth part and then we'll recap all the parts we've learned so far, okay, so anyways, so uh, let me see, okay, so right hand once again, so D, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, C sharp, B, B, E, F, like that. So it's actually pretty much the same as the uh, uh, the third part, but just the last three notes. Instead of B, uh, instead of B, E, B, it goes B, E, F. Okay, just the last note is different. Okay, so you can see it's the same. It's like, tada, even the chords. Tada, 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 like that. Okay, there you go. Okay, so it's just tada. Skidda, like that. Okay, so back to back the four parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Now, 
moving on to the next part. Right hand goes F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, E, D. And just another D. Okay, so this is called like probably like the last part. Okay, so let's note it again. It's F sharp, E, D, E, F sharp, E, D. And another D. Okay, left hand we have B minor. Once again, A major, once again, and G major twice, and finish with just D major, D, F sharp, A. Okay, so those five chords in mind, so B minor, A major, two G majors, and the last D major. Two hands together goes like this, so it just goes skitter, 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 here, and then just chord by itself. There you go. Uh, to finish it off with a D major, that's it. So skitter, skitter. Skitter. Finish off with a D major like that. Beautiful. All right. So once you get the melody and block chords all good, you can consistently play it very fluently. Okay. Then you can start to add improvisations. Very simple. For the starting G major, you can kind of do what the original does. So for the chord G major, right, G, B, D, what you want to do is play the root note, followed by the high two notes, play an octave above uh, pretty much, yeah. So you could do like, um, actually you can just do G, B on top like that. That's what the original was doing. So, so G major, right? So root note and then followed by G, B up here twice because it's triple time. One, two, three, like that. And then down to the top note, which is D and then back up to the two notes. Yeah, that's what the original is doing for the start, for the G major once, okay? Okay, and then the other ones, the other, when the other chords come in, uh, you can just do triple time, like just, okay, do a four note chord, you can just, so B minor, right, B, D, F sharp, do the root note, followed by the higher three notes, including the top uh, tonic note, and same for the A major, same pattern, you can just do that for the G major there, okay, when it does that, yeah, like that. Okay, and then applying it together just requires a little bit of hand independence, but it will just go like this. Awesome, very beautiful stuff. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson, by the way, if you want to learn other beautiful tunes and pieces like this, search up your favorite song or piece name, followed by Amos Doll in the YouTube search to find those other lessons to learn for yourself. But as for now, if you want to learn more piano from me, if you like my teaching method and style, how I break everything up step by step, okay, uh, you can check out my piano website called bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description to check out my piano courses, books and services and a lot of other piano and musical stuff okay so check it out link is in the description it's bestpianomethod.com and as for now enjoy the time around my channel and see you all next time